Has anyone ever tried to measure, <laughs> measure a sausage dog before? Because I don't know how to do this. Right, top of the head. No, top of the back. Top of the back. To the floor. To the floor. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, and today is Friday. Before we go into this video, I just want to very, very quickly apologise. I said to Emma, I'm going to make a video today, so what'd she do? She puts the washing machine on. Just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone. We've had very good feedback from the first video. I didn't know it was going to go down after two years from being away. So positive vibes all around. It's absolutely brilliant. We got a fair few comments. We got some nice amount of likes. Got some good feedback. So I want to say a massive thank you. And if you can reciprocate that onto this video by liking, commenting, doing, subscribing, sharing, whatever. We've been chucked some questions, which uh, there's been some good, there's been some bad, there's been some slightly odd ones. And then along with that, we have some exciting news. Some very exciting news. Emma isn't pregnant, by the way. If you watched me previously, you'll know that I was at Body Power of Muscle Food in 2018. I've been in chats with them again, looking at the next projects, the next things that they've got in place, and they want me to be part of that pushing forward. Won't go into too much of that today, uh, but it is very exciting. It is uh, very big, and I feel like everyone watching can benefit from that as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you obviously subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated with that as well. Uh, and I'll keep you posted on the new products, trying out some new bits and bobs, which will bring some great content along the way as well. Obviously you'll know Emma slash aka M Dog D A W W W W G but she is currently upstairs doing her makeup because obviously it's been two years and you know wrinkles creep in and those sort of things so this video uh, well this channel now I should say is gonna be directed at sort of me Emma, Reggie, our lives, what we're doing, and have a bit of fun with it along the way. I know it is a very fitness-based channel, and it always has been, uh, and I will keep it in that sort of direction, with the eating, with the, with the training, and all that sort of stuff. But with Emma, by the way, is now joining my line of work, so we're gonna be working together a lot more, which is, uh, yeah. So you'll probably be seeing her on a lot more of the videos, which will mean good content, because we can actually record each other, doing different things, training, etc., etc. But for now, I'm gonna go get some makeup tips from Anna because I need to. Uh, I dark eyes and that. Oh man, that's not good. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, standard. Let's go. And we're back. It is now like 7 o'clock. Em's just finishing her makeup quite literally. It's taken. Eight hours or something like that. Uh, we have obviously been completing our work for the day, but I wanted to get this in. I thought, why not do it in the salon that I haven't shown you yet? So have a quick browse behind me. We have the salon, which I spent a lot of time, by the way, getting my eyebrows and hair and all those manly things done. Cool little setup, you'll see it's called Blush with the pink vibes. Uh, and this is now, it's all part of, I suppose, inside the gym. It's like below it, isn't it? Below it, beside it. Underneath it. Underneath it. And we've got the two hair dressing hairstylist places, is that the best way to put it? And a nail bar and two treatment rooms. So any waxing, any, was it, microblading, any things like that. I'm trying to pretend like I know what the hell I'm on about in this salon. Don't really. Now, let me fix you up on my tripod, is we're gonna have our Q and A. You gotta see. Should be cool. Right ho then, ready boy. Are you ready for the Q and A? You ready? Mm -hmm. Yum. We've collected a few of the questions from Instagram, and I thought, why not? Let's give it a go and see what you can learn about us today. So, question number one. Got to get the best one in there first. From Beth underscore Stevens twenty six. Hiya, by the way. How tall is Reggie? Reg. Which way are you going to put him? He's very focused right now. No, he's loving it. Look at the camera. <laughs> Reggie! Sit. 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 Reggie, sit. Sit. Good boy. Right, top of the head. No, top of the back. Top of the back. To the floor. To the floor. <laughs> He is currently 
20, but 26 centimeters high <laughs> to be precise. Ice. Right. We need that gear. I reckon. <laughs> such a little, such a little turd. Height wise, why are you on your back legs? <laughs> <laughs> length. It's all about the length. <laughs> He's about 51 <laughs> centimetres long. You're nearly two foot long, mate. That is huge. Good boy! Alex T. Levy. Alex T. Levy. I recognise the name. I've seen you a lot on Instagram. Shout out, my man. Um, and I just don't know how to pronounce it, so please let me know. What do your tattoos mean slash say? Well, I've got a few, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a cross on my side, uh, which says Veni Vidi Vici on it, which is uh, the Ziz vibe, if anyone uh, gets that from a few years ago. <laughs> Very sad, I know. But the cross that I did do, and I've got, I actually drew myself, so that's kind of the meaning behind it. I doodled it about 14 years old. Thought I wanted that on my skin, because I'm badass. I've then got my arm tattoo, which is kind of relevant. Uh, it's got a mixture of different things. That, to me, was very relevant to, like, the Marines and me leaving, etc., etc. Boring old story, but I got that said, I'll persist until I succeed, uh, which I actually got at the end of training, before my 30 miler. Bit of a motivational, cheesy thing for me to help get me through it. I've got a clock on my arm, which has no dials, because I thought the clever idea behind it was, you don't know how much time you've got left, Therefore, I was to leave it blank, um, and then probably when I die is maybe to actually get the time on it. Don't tattoo dead people. They might do. It's a profession, isn't it? Business idea number five. Uh, I've then got the poppy, obviously relevant to the military as well, and I've got a cage, an open cage with dubs, I believe it is, flying around, which basically relates to me was freedom. That was the whole point about when I come to leave the Marines. Big part for me to leave the Marines was to have that element of freedom uh, to myself again, uh, and that's basically what that symbolises. And Emma, your tattoos, you've got two very nice tattoos, must I say. Do you care to explain to the people? So I have a, a bow on my hip, uh, which I got when I was underage, so I kind of regret that because it's not great. Um, and then I have an arrow on my neck. Um, arrows can only be shot forward, so when life's pulling you back, hopefully you'll be shot forward in something great. You're getting the vibes now. We're quite a cheesy couple. I know, am I? Are we? I don't know, kind of. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Same again, same geezer. Alex Lee to be How long were you in the Marines and did you do any high risk deployments? Quite a good question, that actually, because obviously with the channel before, I did highlight the Marines piece. Uh, I was in the Marines for about four years, uh, minimum time, mainly because not much was going on and sitting on camp. Uh, kind of bored me, uh, I'm not going to lie. And if you know me by now, I'm a very ambitious person. I don't like to be sat around. I have a very active mind. And on the point of a high-risk deployments, I didn't do any deployments by the time I joined uh, all the active uh, well, because active deployments had ended. Uh, so that wasn't an option to me. Uh, another reason actually why I did come to leave because Obviously, going into the Marines, you don't go through eight months of training to do nothing. Uh, so that is what I wanted to do, uh, hence why I did leave. Probably the maddest place I went to was Albania, uh, which, quite interesting. You got shot at. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Funny story, that, really. Went to get pizza and um, nearly involved in a drive-by. So, yeah, thumbs up to that one. What's your opinion on the Royal Marines Reserves? Obviously, there's a few of the Marines there, folk catching back up on this one. So I did actually consider joining the Reserves uh, once I come to leave uh, the Marines because I wanted to keep my foot in the door just in case anything was to happen uh, and stuff like that. So I think it's a great option. Um, personally, I think if you're going to do the Marines with it being so intense, you want the full experience. So I would go in as a regular, to be totally honest, and then look at Reserve as an after option if you were to come to leave. And for me now, to be totally honest, um, I'm a busy guy. It is probably not an option for me to do that anymore. Um, but I'm happy where I'm at, happy where I am, and the future now that we're going into. Compound underscore four is interested. Who I'd like to interview. Who would you like to interview if you could? Anyone. Best be good. I don't know. Well, you know who mine is. Do, 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 do. Can you smell? What the rock? <laughs> it's cooking. What? <laughs> The Rock. 
Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Did you ever watch wrestling as a kid? No. Did you know? All right, no. Well, that's it. We're breaking up. And to be honest, I'd love to interview him just because I think he's a cool dude. I'd just love to go out and have brownies with him and make, like, man bonds. Uh, and Edward G, 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 big shout out to Edward G. Do you think training heavy and velocity later in a sesh is ideal or should it be separate sessions? Well, very good question. For me personally, when I train, all my training is based around going heavy to begin with and then usually lightening up towards the end. So a standard breakdown for me, if I was to do, uh, say like a pull day, because I do push pull legs usually, I'd put in say my heavy deadlifts at the beginning so I get my compounds out of the way. Uh, obviously a knackered then, so then I start to go into isolation and really focusing on obviously controlled tempoed reps uh, and stuff like that. Maybe that could be worth a video in the future. And what's your thoughts on training? <laughs> Rarely, but you don't need to, so it's fine. Current training goals. Very good question by MPT strength underscore strength underscore coach. Shout out my man, he's a local boy. Current training goals. For me personally, I, I did actually say this uh, not too long ago on that Instagram that I don't actually know. For me at the moment, I don't have a target. Obviously, you, we got the wedding, haven't we? So, I mean, it depends if I just want to fill out a suit or look gone in the face. You guys, I think if I was to round it up in one, it is just to find my enjoyment in training. I've been training for so long now with various different things that um, I kind of want to just try new things, like I said before, with networking with different gyms, trying out, um, say, like powerlifting, bit of CrossFit, bit of functional, bit of bodybuilding, like anything to me just that I can enjoy it. Realistically, I'm not, I know I'm not going to get like massive, I'm not going to be like the next strongest man or anything like that. So it's pretty much take my enjoyment out of it, whatever routine that is, um, I'll go with it. Emma Taylor 10. Can you clean the house and make tea for me when I'm how home? home? <laughs> when I'm home. Dot 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 ta kiss emoji. No. Conway Hunter, shout out my man, he is in Dubai. What a place. Who's better looking? You or Emma? You. Well that's very, very nice of you, Em. Uh, but I couldn't agree. Hmm. This is Robson Sean. Robs yeah, Robson Sean underscore. Um <clears throat> would you rather, so it's a fair question, would you rather shout your mum and no one knows, or don't do it, but everyone thinks you have? Uh, a question. What a, how do you even respond to that? To be totally honest, I would not like to look at my mum in that way, so I would rather everyone think that I've done it because, to be honest, don't really care what people think about me, but physical touch is worrying. What a question. <laughs> oh my god, these are getting better. So I don't I don't should I? I don't it's it's a it's a, it's a, it's a you, you you'll get the vibe. Do you like being called daddy? Lol. Edward G, again I like this one, is when I put up a post and ask me weird questions because that's quite interesting, they're weird questions. So, would you rather fight a gorilla sized duck or a duck sized gorilla? Is he talking like a gorilla of this big or a duck about the size of this room? A, a, a duck sized gorilla. I would because I think realistically I could, I could convince him to be Reggie's mate. And then we'll just have another little animal that, to be fair, you could probably make a lot of money on because I'd be pretty impressed by a duck sized gorilla, so. Gourmet Browning Kitchen, big shout, local business, lovely cakes by the way. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Oh, I'd love to have hands for feet. You basically have. I do, don't I? <laughs> People that don't know, my toes are literally like fingers, like she calls it the elder wand. Yeah, literally the they're, they're huge, they are huge. I, I think I could physically like Pick stuff up. Pick stuff up and do proper like functional stuff with my toes. So kind of ready to have that one and I'd happily continue to live like that. And then moving on to a couple of other questions uh, from before. Unfortunately, I'm sorry I don't have the names, but I do have them saved down as questions. So Olympic weightlifting numbers, uh, something that I haven't really tried. M definitely hasn't tried, so I won't do that. <laughs> 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 <Sorry>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but that is something I'm quite keen to actually learn about this year. So maybe I'll give it a go, get a video in there, like completely failing at uh, Olympic lifting. Any lower body endurance workouts, anyone that knows me knows that my legs are massive. <laughs> <laughs> they're, I, uh, they're, they're not very big, but <laughs> they're not very big. Is what it is. That they're strong. They do the job. They get me from A to B. So <laughs> what else can you say? No, genuinely though, great endurance workout. Put this on my Instagram. Was the German volume training. I highly recommend giving that a go. Ten sets of ten on squats, and um, with like a sixty-second break between each. Literally tried it about four years ago. Never tried it since. It was that good. You should do it. Current macros. This is a good, good question. So for me, with food, as you may well know, Emma, I have a very, well, I used to have an unhealthy relationship with food and used to always be very obsessed with like what I was eating, how much I'm eating, like, oh my God, I'm like one gram of like protein under, I'm gonna lose all my package. But nowadays, I don't worry so much. As long as I'm hitting my protein target, which might be between 180 to 200 grams a day, then carbs and fats, I just kind of fit it in where it is. I probably haven't tracked my macros for, well, probably since body power, have I, really? No. So literally for well over a year, I haven't tracked my macros, but I've still managed to maintain a similar sort of physique. Don't get me wrong, if I was to cut back, I would start tracking it again, and I might try that towards the summer or something if we, to, if we were to go away to actually see how lean I could get and maybe do a little series on that as well. What's going to be special about 2020, Emma? We're what? getting married. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're sealing the deal. We've got a great meal lined up for our wedding, by the way. I can't wait. <laughs> the main bit. <laughs> yeah, the main bit. But no, genuinely, the exciting stuff for us in 2020, it's going to be a massive year, to say the least. I mean, well, we keep saying each year, it surely it can't get no bigger. Because yeah, we've like does. opened businesses, obviously like bought a house and done all these sorts of things. Loads going on. But turns out this year, 2020, I'm in a new job. Emma's now joining this job yeah. uh, and then we're getting married uh, in May so that's going to be like the big big thing but also with this business moving forward now with Just Device Solutions um, there is some seriously big moves going to be happening so that's going to be very exciting as well um, and obviously getting back into the YouTube stuff linking up with Muscle Food um, I'm pretty sure she wants another Reggie I we nearly had another Reggie we, we nearly did have another Reggie but I had to, I had to cut it I really like this question uh, that I got before actually. Why would you work for someone else when you have your own gym? Hashtag freedom. I believe I had a really good comeback to this one because it was it was something that, you know, means quite a lot to me. So I don't actually, the way I like to put it is I don't work for someone. I work with people. Sounds cheesy. I told you, we're, che we're cheesy. You're cheesy. I'm cheesy. So Justify Solutions, uh, technically sort of working for them. I'm self-employed, so I'm still technically um, my own boss of what I managed to achieve in, inside that business. But I don't look at it as that sort of structure. I look at it as, it, as in like, um, so Steve, uh, the main man of the show, uh, very close with him. Uh, he loves to take the mick out of me and stuff, don't he, just because I'm a, I'm a gentle soul. Easy target. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, literally. Me joining Justify Solutions, I've seen you know what this, what this could be as a whole thing for the future and I genuinely see uh, my heart and soul in that as a business pushing forward that could bring the best for obviously them as a business but also for us as like a obviously as a couple as well I think there's such big things in there while having the gym and obviously the salon as well so we're not giving that up um, and I just want to see like I said the future is working with people work with people learn off people um, and that's going to build a better future for you I'm always big at saying don't don't like shut off opportunities and stuff. You know, if you've got a, got an opportunity there and you think, well, like it's worth taking. It was a risk for me to take the jump and to go back self-employed again without having any sort of like backup behind it. But to be honest, it's worked out for me right now. And I know that this year is gonna be big. So, excited? Very. Very. Where are your short shorts from? So anyone who watches my little Instagram clips and stuff, you'll notice that my shorts ride very high up towards my genitalia. The idea behind it is logic behind this. When you've got like legs of a, like a six year old, pull your socks up as high as possible to cover your ankles and then pull your shorts up as high as possible to then emphasize the quadricep area. <laughs> and it makes you look like your legs aren't that small. It's something that's been in a work in progress for about a year now. And I'm quite proud. Is that why you pull your socks up? Genuinely, yeah. It's a, it's a great tip. I don't think it works. Uh, 
So that is it guys, that's all the questions. Like I said, it was just something a bit of a fun, fun video. Hopefully you've really enjoyed it. Um, as always, please feel free, chuck your ideas below. Like I said, I have got the muscle food thing coming up, which is gonna generate uh, a video or a couple of videos as well. Um, I, I really wanna get into some like challenges. I don't know why, like if it's something like fun and like crazy I could do. Thanks again for watching. We're now gonna go away uh, and eat and chill out and stuff like that. And then all you have to do hopefully is to like the video if you liked it. Comment below any ideas or thoughts, and also if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it's always much appreciated to get to that 10,000 marker, and we're gonna, we're gonna get there. We're gonna make it happen. Thanks again, guys, and I shall see you very soon. Bye. Bye.